So. Okay, everyone, I'm going to go and give this a try. This is Kevin Coriel, the founder of Draxus Web Productions. <laughs> it's been some time since I was hey, last on Earth. Eh, it looks much the same. The Minions have spawned. Got a soul. If I set this up right, I should be able to go ahead and archive what we're doing here automatically, and thus it'll end up on YouTube. So. herself and damages enemies that come in. This also, as you see, builds up yeah. carefully. The second one powers up her basic attack. Her next basic attack will explode. Um, if enemies are called in the middle of that, they will go and um, be slowed and damaged. She disapparates and her trail damages the enemies when it blows up. Or she has her ultimate, which can be eight. As you can see, fires about eight shots, I believe it is. Her normal attack. So. Now. Sorry about the yawning. I'm doing this at 4.45 a.m. as part of um, the Extra Life 24-hour gaming marathon. And I've already been going for about almost five hours now. Anyway, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is get her the Shoes of the Magi. I know this one's a little bit more expensive, but the reason I get it is for the plus 10 penetration. Um, she gets extra magical power with it, the 45 magical power. Um, the lower one I think is 20, I don't know, 40, and cooldown reduction, which is nice. But I like it because I like the penetration. Penetration works really good with soul. Some damage? So I get her the shoes <laughs> More please. Um next I'm looking at um Next I'm looking at the Polynomicon. 
This gives you 75 magical power, 300 mana, and it gives you some magical lifesteal as well. Love magical life. <sighs> Excuse me. Love magical lifesteal with her, um, with her big area of effect spells taken out of the whole minion wave can go and sure up your HP in like two seconds. Passive on this is when you use an ability, your next attack within 8 seconds gets um, plus 75% of your magical power as additional magical damage. So, that's gonna give you a good bump. Yes, this I like! Um, if you look at this now, hit LB, and that first shot does not take Polynomicon, that one does. So it's just to show you, got 72 damage. Hit that, 68, and then 77. Power gives you 300 health, gives you 400 mana. You're going to permanently gain 3 health and 6 magical power per stack, and receive 5 stacks for a god kill, 1 stack per minion kill. Max of 100 stacks. So that's going to help you out real good. That's going to give you another 300 health and another possible. 600 power, if I'm reading this right. Um, I might be missing some points in there or something that's kind of blurry at 4.45 a.m. But anyway, I like adding some this in. <laughs> More, One of the next things I add in is going to be the Book of Toss. This is another 125 mana. Gives you MP5. Gives you 100 magical power. So you're stacking your magical power up here. Again, some good boom for your buck. But then your passive, you permanently gain 10 mana per stack. You receive 5 stacks for a god kill, 1 stack for a minion kill. But 3% of your mana is converted to magical power. So that blue bar on the bottom, you're adding to the mana here. <laughs> so anything you add to that blue bar, 3% of it is being turned into magical power for you. Which is just more boom for your buck. Now, Rather of this Aslepius, you have another 75 magical power, 250 health, get some movement speed going on, and then the healing and health regeneration of allies within 70 units is increased. So, healing for every one of the road <laughs> is increased. And if you remember, this one, your first one, the LT, this heals you. So, 
though. Rather of a scup, yes, should help you with healing. Hold up. That heals you. Um, let's see. Now, last but not least, this is one of the major ones. As you saw, we already put your mana into magical power. The Ethereal Staff gives you another 30 magical power. Gives you another 400 health on top of it. And another 300 mana. At this point, it has a passive that 2.5% of your maximum health is converted to magical power. We're going to add that. Between these things, we have 45 magical power, 145 magical power altogether, um, Two twenty magical power. Two seventy magical power. Three hundred magical power. Around three seventy five magical power if I'm doing my math correctly, which I may not be at five AM. Um around three hundred magical power right there. Now, you're taking 3% of the mana, which is your blue line, which is over 2,400, it looks like. I can't quite see it from back where I'm sitting. But you're taking 3% of that, adding that to your magical power, too. But you're also taking 2.5% of your green line, your health line. Which is 2,850. You're taking 2.5% of that and adding it to your magical power, too. So, you're getting some good magical power there. We're going to come in here and show you how much of a difference this is making. Remember, we hit for like 74 or something earlier? 139, 140, 141. Now here's one of the great things. You hit What's this, that brings your fire up. Notice all of your hits are getting more and more powerful. Oh, she's got two fires. We're up to 217. And that. Fires go for you. This is how you take down the um, Phoenixes and towers. Stop right there! Take your fire. You see that flame over top of your health bar in the circle thing there? That's giving you bonus magical power. I think. Getting magical power like crazy from what you've gotten. You're getting magical power out the wahoo from your mana and your health. And then you're adding magical power from your little flame on technique. So, I mean. Go and get some major bonuses there. Now remember, if you, miss, if you miss, it goes and takes your power down. Or if you're not 
firing it takes your power down. gods by running away with her. She's what I call glass cannon. She's all power. Her power does give her some fighting skill with having almost 3,000 hit points. I mean, she, she can hold her own in the fight if need be. The thing is, though, she's also a mage. A lot of people can penetrate mage defenses real easily, especially anyone with physical powers. So, if you've got Loki after you, and he teleports in, <laughs> even if he misses, chances are if you try to do a one verse one on him, you'll be screwed. Here's her good thing. I've gotten very good at running away with her. Someone teleports in on you. You do this, it hits them. Then you do your dis disapparate. People, if they follow you in a straight line, are going to get hit with that explosion of the line. I can't tell you how many gods I have killed just by doing that alone. The other good thing is... You're... Um, ultimate here. It's eight, and it's... Okay. Let's watch. I can hit it, and then drag, and follows that path. So. This is a cooldown. No, that wasn't a cooldown. Maybe that's what green is. Okay, green is cool. So, while you're escaping, if you pull your uh, targeting back to yourself, then you can release it, and your ultimate will follow right behind you. So if someone is right on your butt, and you release that, you can release that. basically release all of her things except for this. I mean that doesn't really do much. You can only get in front of you. But other than that, you've got three options of things that you can fire off as you run. And of those three options, I have killed quite a few other gods just by supposedly running away because once they see a mage run away they're going to chase they almost always do but this way you can show them hey I've got some teeth when running away too so don't get too cocky um I love playing a soul not too many people play as her anymore Anyway, that's our first little video. I hope you guys like it. Um, I haven't really had a chance to use Twitch much. And that was it, doing that with my mom's computer. I mean, my wife's computer. Anyway, now that we've done that, um, we've got it set up for the archiving, so hopefully with one of our computers we can get on and set this up on 
welcome to YouTube. Um, one last thing, relics. As you can see, I've got like fury and curse here. I don't use those anymore. Nowadays, my go-to are first meditation because you can be you can use it either to fill your mana or to fill your health or both. Um, so that's always my first relic. My second relic. Of the people now is thorns. Thorns is really nice because as you're running away, people are taking pot shots at you. So if you pop thorns, anything that hits you, 40% of it's going back to the damager as damage, plus whatever damage you're throwing behind her for those three. So that's very nice too. So anyway, hopefully this will be up on YouTube. Just a little bit. Remember, this has been the video for Extra Life. We're doing the marathon today, 24 hours of playing games. And any money we raise will go through Extra Life to our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital, which in our case, the hospital we're playing for is the Chance Children's Hospital son was born. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast.